there are so many competition. Every competition has its own way of judging. But I really want that golden demon. Like, I really want it. You know, in order to do that, I have to understand how they judge miniatures. I have to paint how they want me to paint. I'm going to try to figure out that in this video. Please just remember, I mean, no disrespect towards the winners. I'm just trying to figure out why some figures won and some others didn't. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Please try to help me out with this, figuring this out, because I am really confused. So starting with a single miniature 40k, I already have doubts about the first and the second gold and the silver. The third one is pretty interesting, it has pretty sick non-metallic metal, but I think the cape confuses it with the base. I was really more interested in understanding the difference between the first place and the second place, because from what I see, uh, the second one it has more contrast, it has more differences in textures, it has all OSL, uh, the cape it looks looks great. It has some reflection from the red of the cape on the armor, which is very cool. There might have been some mistakes of light placement, but I'm not really that sure. I Plus, the base is really cool. Want to get the gold? It's a pretty stunning model. It's close to perfection, but it's a little bit flat. Don't see much contrast in the armor, on the cape, on the face. If I look at the face, which is the focal point of the miniature, I see a very flat face. It's well painted, the eyes are great, but I don't see a uh, big contrast. It has some textures on the leather. No disrespect, the winner, Robin, he did a great job. It is a little bit boring to me, my opinion. For the category 40k the squad, there is nothing much to say. I think Andy nailed it completely. It did a very saturated and bright goals on point, composition on point. Everything is on point. I love the base. I love how they structure the thingy, everything. I, I love it. Uh, also the NMR, MMR, NMR, Nicholas Mortensen, he did a great job with this. It's too bad that the picture doesn't really speak of, uh, about how good they are. Honestly, the only doubt I have is on the third, which I, I think it has a good composition, but it's very, very flat. It's very heavy metal style, not very contrasted. I'm always a little bit thrown by that. For vehicles uh, and large models, I wouldn't stay and comment too much because I, I don't really care about these categories. Even though I look at the winner of large vehicles and I see this all grungy looking stuff, I am more and more confused, you know, because GW seems to want the heavy metal style, but then it awards a gold to this very ruined and grim looking. In the large model as well, the Sam Lance, this amazing piece, I'll go or go something, something. It's very grimy and it got a bronze. So that got me confused. And then we come to single miniature fantasy, just Sigmar. Of course, we have Gavin Garza with his amazing model. And I can see why this one, because it's perfectly painted. This model is flawless. I don't know if I would have painted this way or the, I don't know, the light placement, all these lines between the muscles. It's a great model, but I'm confused about how can a model like this uh, compete with a diorama or a duel or for the Slayer Sword. What they are judging here, they're judging just the painting because if you have at your disposal a whole thing to tell a story scenery and stuff like that of course it's gonna be a stronger entry you know i'm maybe guessing here for the slayer sword they're judging just the painting is that it do you know tell me down below because i am very confused then the second place uh, was the only woman that's not heavy metal style that's the opposite it's very creative i personally don't like it i think it's very busy it kind of hurts my eyes i don't like it but that's my personal taste. The only problem is it's not heavy metal style, so questions keep piling up in my head. How am I supposed to paint the, this shit? And then we go back to very heavy metal style of painting with the borons, and still I don't get it. This model is, like I said, no disrespect whatsoever, but uh, it's not very contrasted. The skin is quite flat. It doesn't pass to me the feeling of rot and dirt and of Nargle. I don't get it. I don't see much uh, like display bases for a unit where I just Sigma. I'm not even able to see them well actually because they're too far away to really see. And the second one, uh, I like it more because uh, the metal pops more. I think it's the same guy, Robbie McLeod. And f of course, the, the last one painted by Anthony Wang. Oh, Wang. This is amazing for me. This is really looks really good. Uh, the color, the use of color, the use of freehand, I think. This looks stunning. And why did it get just a bronze? I don't get it. Please help me get it because I need to win. 
For the other categories, a large model I'm not gonna enter, even though, we, again, Sam Lance did a pretty amazing job with a free hand. He got third place. And then Diorama, I just don't didn't like the third place because it was pretty busy. And the duels, you know, another heavy thing to solo because I don't really like the first. And I think what Ben Comets did, you know, the scenery is amazing. So why didn't he get uh, gold? And of course, Andy is always on top. But yeah, I think I commented everything I, I wanted to comment. I will study this more. I hope you comment a lot so you can help me figure out some of this stuff. Uh, I really want that award and I'm starting to think about my entries right now. A super important thing is that everyone has different lenses. So that's why I don't think you should be offended by my critiques because sometimes we wear lenses and we are not aware of what we're seeing. We're not aware of what makes a winning entry a winning entry. That's because the lenses that we wear on our eyes. So if you are a big artist, if you are a big competitor and you want to comment down below and help me out trying to put on different lenses, you're very, very welcome to. Thank you.